Welcome to this short video where we will explain the advanced reporting functionality uh, in the ecosystem account of the One Planet platform. The first thing we'll do is go to the ecosystem center and look at the different types of reports. We can create what we call performance reports and adoption reports. And to explain the difference in these, we'll look firstly at the ecosystem plan. So the performance report is to really judge as the name suggests, the performance of, of your entire project. And this will pull in information from all plans uh, of the adopted shared indicators and shared outcomes. And any information that people have, have in, uh, inputted into that shared indicator will be pulled into a plan. So if we look at this example of percentage of energy from renewable sources, and we look at the plan selected, if we open the Manchester Operations demo, we've got the indicator there with some additional information added. That information will be pulled into your performance report. But also, on the outcome of zero carbon or better by 2030, uh, there are actions uh, uh, that have been linked to that. In the adoption report, we'll also be able to pull in the actions, so we'll be able to see how we're going at delivering uh, on that zero carbon or better across all of our projects. What this does mean is that a, an adoption report can, can rapidly become very large if we've got hundreds of actions spread across multiple projects. So returning to our ecosystem center, let's just look at the performance report. So if we open the performance reports, we will come to the performance report page where we'll firstly see all of the reports that we have created already. If we look firstly at the report editor, once we open that up, we get a, a page that looks very similar to a document view. Um, the first thing we'll do is set the lens we want to make the report in. In this case, we're going to stick with One Planet Living. Uh, the next thing we'll do is filter the report. This means we decide what shared outcomes, what shared indicators uh, we want to report on, and also what plans we want to be pulling information from. So we may decide in this case that we're not interested in what's happening in the London or Edinburgh apartments, but we do want to know what all of the uh, stakeholders are doing. And we do want to bring in all monitoring progress reports, stories and charts. So we apply that selection. Once that's loaded, we can then set the date range. So in this case, we'll take all data and apply. And we can now review the plan principle by principle. If we look at zero carbon, we can now see the performance of all of the, the projects that have adopted those principles and um, the performance as a portfolio as a whole. So looking at that percentage of energy from renewable sources, we can see that the progress as a whole, we're, we're making progress. Uh, we can see the, the performance and we've got a story of progress. And we can also see all of the plans that are, are contributing. Now, there's no plans from London or Edinburgh because we decided not to include those. And we can see that the Manchester construction demo, although it has adopted this indicator, because the, uh, the, the little arrow here is not highlighted, we can see they haven't uh, uploaded any information. Whereas Manchester Apartments has put a lot of information, that's all pulled into our report, as has this Manchester Development Stakeholder Plan. All of that information will be there. Uh, we can review that information and we can then generate our report. So that's how we can create a report pulling in all information from across the platform. Just going back to the performance report homepage, we can see again there is this op option to look in the mind map view. If we look at the mind map, it, it allows us to see more visually the performance um, of each shared outcome. So zero carbon uh, or better, we can see all of the indicators, that the shared indicators that have been linked to that. And then we can see the overall performance of those. So how are, how are we doing it um, at a project level against, uh, against that indicator? But we can also see all of the projects that have adopted that indicator, and here we'll be able to compare their performance as well. 
So this is just to give you an oversight of how we can use the platform to track the performance of all of the projects uh, that have, have adopted shared outcomes and shared indicators, as well as being able to track the performance of our portfolio, in this case, as a whole. Thank you.